Well, well, well. Whoever decided Skylar should have locks on them made my job way too easy. I almost feel a little bad. Almost. Hmm. No alarms. That's a little weird, not gonna lie. I know they definitely went off last time I was here. You'd think this place would have better security considering the new exhibit. Then again, if they actually were prepared, it'd be a lot more work for me. Now, time to get moving. Damn. Guess I'm not as alone as I thought I was. Who'd even be in the museum this late if they aren't security? Whatever. I just need to get to the exhibit and grab the demon's eye tiara and get out of here. Should be simple enough. Just gotta keep whoever this is off my tail long enough to snag the prize. I think... I think I lost them. <laughs> wow. That sure is some piece of headgear. I can see why it's the main attraction of this exhibit. I didn't think anyone could have this much old clothing and furniture. How is it even so well preserved after centuries? Ugh, damn it! Guess all those listen turns I made didn't lose you after all. Stop right there and back away from the tiara! Um, no. No. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I got a job to do here, darling. So, you might want to stay over there while I do it. Because I really, really would hate for things to get ugly here. Uh, hey! Hey, let go of me! <laughs> if you wanted to be so close, I could have arranged it, you know. No need to be so bold now. Oh? That's not why you're currently on top of me, holding me so close. Then, enlighten me, darling. <laughs> the exhibit. What do you care about the exhibit? If you care so much, you should have gotten better security. Set the alarms, call the cops when I sent the calling card in. Anything that would have at least made this a challenge. You shut off the alarms yourself? Hmm. And I'm guessing you didn't even bother to call for a backup. Did you think you were really gonna stay here and stop me from doing what I need to do? You should have just gone home, darling. Laid down a trap, did you? Darling, you really should have just let the police handle this. Don't you think I'm a little too much for you? <laughs> The only reason you're still on top of me right now is because I'm letting you stay here. It has nothing to do with you overpowering me. I admit, he caught me by surprise, but that only lasts a moment. Wait, wait, I know you, don't I? Ah, yes I do. You're the museum's head exhibit creator. I can see your face much better now that you've moved into the light a bit more. So, darling, you gonna let me go or what? No. Oh, but you really should. I'd only be a moment, and then you'll never see me around here again. Unless you're keeping me here because you want me to keep seeing me. <laughs> I don't blame you. Mm-hmm, I see. Well, if you're planning on calling the cops which I'm pretty sure you are. I hope you realize you're going to have to let me go of me. Well, you know, to do this. <sighs> you're right, you're right. I'll do what I want as soon as you let me go. But it's not like we can stay here in the cold, hard floors all night. As much as I'd like to stay close to you, it simply isn't the right place for that. Hmm? You want me to stop? But why would I want to? I kind of like seeing you all flustered. 
<laughs> yes, like that. <laughs> You're so surprised. But I told you already that I could get you off of me at any time. But I've gotta say, I like your fire. <laughs> no, not enough to leave the TR alone. I know you see me, and all you see is a criminal. But I'm much more than that. But I'm not expecting you to understand my reasons. Just know that I have them. The same trick won't work on me twice, darling. Now, if you behave, I won't have to bruise you up. In fact, we could have even have a little bit of fun. But you do have to trust me on this. You do not want to have a demon's eye, Tiara. I mean, think about it. Something with a name like that just has to be cursed, doesn't it? And you don't want the cursed artifact, right? So, how's about I take it off your hands and I get cursed instead? Oh, ho, ho. things just got a lot more interesting. But you really shouldn't have done that, darling. Because you have just been promoted from innocent bystander to... Hostage. Congratulations. <laughs> You know, it doesn't make much sense for you to think you could handle something like this on your own. You really should have just left the alarms the way they were set. But now, now you get to come with me. <sighs> my, my, aren't you lucky? <laughs> Hold on tight now. Go on, start climbing the ladder. It's sturdy, I promise. Just climb it. I know you have no reason to, but you have to trust me. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. What am I going to do with you? Well, uh, actually, something. Maybe. I haven't really decided yet. But it, it isn't. Anything bad. Honest. I'm a thief, not a monster. I'm not even a bad thief. Would a bad thief take away a potentially cursed artifact and risk themselves? No. I can't tell you in any way of that right now. If I did, then people may just let me walk right on into the places I want to go. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm doing these things for a reason. But that doesn't mean I want everyone to know my business, you know. Besides, I like the thrill of the chase that stealing things gives me. It's always better when you have the work for it. Which reminds me, now that I've got you right here where I want you, I've got something to say. Well, uh... <clears throat> I'd like to start off by saying that your work is really nice. The way you arrange exhibits is mesmerizing. You know just what to do to make sure everything catches a visitor's eye. That's part of the reason I like this place. Well, that and I kind of have to come here pretty often because you guys always get something strange in your hands. Here, for you, darling. Why not use magic tricks more often? <laughs> uh, well, I'd be imitating a pretty famous thief if I did that. Sure, my methods may not be extravagant, but they get the job done, darling. Hmm? Why I've been calling you that? It's simple, because that's what you are, and you're mine. <laughs> And another thing, darling, I lied about you becoming my hostage. Seems I'll be out of here before the police even get here. But I'm sure they'll find a way to get you down from the roof. <clears throat> but you'll have to excuse me. Until next time. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, I just want to say thank you for being so cooperative in the investigation. I understand that the most recent heist of this thief must have affected you personally. I'm sorry that you've since had to close off the exhibit that was targeted. Now, would you mind answering a few questions for me regarding the night that the arrow was stolen? Okay, thank you. First, I'd like to ask you if you were in the museum alone on the night of the incident. And why were you alone, if may I ask? You had to stay behind to do some paperwork? So, that means you are supposed to lock up and set the alarms before you left, right? And do you happen to set the alarms before you are set to leave that night? Hey, don't make that face. I'm not trying to accuse you or anything, or, or blame you for what happened. What I mean is, did you at all feel the need to set the alarms while you were still in the building? Did you feel unsafe before the incident occurred? No. Even alone in such a large building? Huh. You're a braver person than most. Why were you alone in the building, by the way? You can't just be relying on an alarm system to keep things in order. Hmm? They were all off at night? Wow. I'm sorry, but it sounds like you had a quite unlucky night. Hmm. If I remember correctly, it's customary for this particular individual to leave a calling card Something that says that he'll be coming in to steal something. Oh, the director allowed it? Huh, now that is pretty suspicious. And would you mind giving a more detailed description of the events leading up to when you were found on the roof? Wait, wait, wait. They said what to you? That's really unusual. In the time I've worked this case, this thief has not been known to flirt with anyone they come across during this heist, genuinely or otherwise. Not during any of his heists before this in any part of the world. This is a first. Hmm. Oh, you're asking what does it mean? It means that your role in this case has just been proven to be much more important than we originally suspected. Now, did he do or say anything else of significance to you on the night of the incident? He said the artifact he was stealing was cursed, and he had a reason for doing it? And did he tell you what the reason was? Kept it a secret, huh? What a shame. But the idea that museums will suddenly just let someone like him to take whatever he's looking for is laughable, almost. No matter how good he claims his intentions are, we cannot take the chance that it is all a ruse. Even if that is the case, this is information that not even the people obtaining this artifact seem to have. So then, how on earth will a single thief be able to find all of this out on a global scale? Doesn't make much sense, does it? Would you mind showing me to the exhibit that was targeted? I want to be certain the damages are cataloged properly in my report. Whoa, this is really nicely done. I mean, the way this exhibit was put together, of course. Not the tough job. Though, this is the cleanest one yet. Nothing's even smashing this time. Oh, yes. This must be your first time actually being involved with the case directly. Many of the places this thief has targeted have had glass broken, 
artifacts smashed, and the like. We aren't entirely sure if the collateral damage is intentional or not. But it's interesting that there are so many new factors for this latest heist. I mean, there's no damage to be seen anywhere in the building. And you were here. <laughs> no, I promise I'm not accusing you of anything. All in all, there's nothing that even remotely points to you being a suspect in this investigation, aside from the fact that you were the only person found at the scene of the crime. However, we'd greatly appreciate your continued cooperation regarding this case. <laughs> yes, including the overseas incidents. I believe your experience will provide a greater insight into the motives of this so-called phantom thief. But it's not as if everything he told you is the truth. Still, if there's a potential motive, I suppose that's just one more thing to piece together in this case. But I have to admit, there's still something about that night I don't quite understand. Well, it's actually about you. You've been cooperative today, and I do appreciate that. But I've noticed that you've been a bit... distant, I guess you could say. It's almost as if you're trying to hide something from me. But you wouldn't hide important information from the police, would you? <laughs> Didn't think so. You seem like a stand-up woman. Not the type to commit any crimes or impede an investigation by not being fully cooperative. No, you look too nice for that. Too clean and proper? Maybe that's why our criminal friend decided to flirt with you like that. To get a reaction out of you. <laughs> My apologies, but you do seem like the kind of person who will get easily flustered by something like that. Hmm, was I right? Oh, I really didn't mean to offend you, and I'm sorry if I have. I really don't want to upset someone who could be so vital to learning the identity of this notorious thief. You know, now that I think about it, even after all this month, I don't believe anyone has actually got a name out of him. <laughs> I didn't mean his actual name. I mean, like, an alias. You know, it's a bit strange that we have no idea what to call him. But enough about that. I do have another question for you. You're the first person who's gotten close enough for a long enough time to give a detailed description of what the thief looks like. I understand that he was wearing a mask at the time of the incident, but from what you could see, were there any distinguishing features that you believe may be of use to us in potentially identifying who this individual is? Did they perhaps look familiar to you personally? It's just that this museum has been targeted several times already. And from your statements thus far, he seemed to be quite familiar with who you are, despite it being your first meeting. By your own account, that combined with you being the only person to have been treated the way you were, does beg the question of what this thief wants with you specifically. No, I can't say that I have any suspicions about his motives are regarding you. Here, my business card. It's got my contact information on it. I want you to keep this handy. If you ever feel like you need someone to talk to, or you feel unsafe, or, well, anything, feel free to contact me. You're a person of interest now, both for the authorities and for the criminal. And I want to make sure you stay safe until this matter gets resolved. Don't be getting any ideas in your head now. This is purely professional. And I don't want you to be thinking of it as anything immoral. No, 
I thank you for your cooperation today, but I believe you've answered all of the questions I have thus far. Remember, you may contact me regarding anything involving the case, and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Before I leave, though, would you mind if we return to your room for a moment? I'd just like to take one last look around to make sure that Thief didn't steal any of your personal belongings on the night of the incident. Is that alright with you? So, you didn't happen to order anything recently, did you? Didn't think so. Mind if I check it out? Could be something suspicious if you weren't expecting it. Okay, just don't get too close in case it is dangerous. Stay back. Hmm, this is a first. The note says, Thanks for trusting me. Here's your new uncursed artifact. It's signed with a P. <laughs> well, well, well. Just like the note said, there's your missing tiara and a peach colored rose. I don't understand that. He's never returned anything that he stole before. And what's more, there's some mention of curses again. Can we really be so sure it was cursed to begin with? You spent a lot of time with this thing. Is there anything that looks different about it all? Nothing? No jewels missing? It doesn't look like a forger at all? No, that... It is strange, and I'm sorry, but I'll have to take this back as evidence for the time being. Hey, don't make that face at me. I promise I'll treat it with utmost care. It is a precious ancient artifact, after all. Well, thank you for understanding. I'll be seeing you. And please, stay safe. Please make sure you don't get near that phantom thief again. Anyways, I'll see you around. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone coming to interview me? <laughs> Scared the info out of me? Oh. Well, hello there. I was not expecting such a beauty to be working here. Oh, you're just a creator from the museum. What are you doing here anyway? I thought you were an investigator all of a sudden. Ah, so you are the one that will be interrogating me today. Oh, this will be so fun. I wonder, do you get flustered easily, or are you more of a feisty one? <laughs> right into the questions with you. I see you, I see you. Well, you asked me, huh? Where was I the night of the 11th? Hmm, I don't really remember. <laughs> Probably watching a movie or something? Do you like movies? Oh, I bet that you are one of those true crime girls. <laughs> or maybe you are into the romance side. Yes, I've been told that I run my mouth a lot. I mean, hey, there are plenty of things that I can do with my mouth. Or if you wanted to, feel that instead. Ah. <laughs> uh. So I see you do get plastered, after all. 
Are you breaking that easily, my love? Hmm. Those are some harsh words. I'm surprised that such an innocent little thing like you would use such words. Where do you learn them, huh? Maybe one of the co-workers taught you of them, so you would seem a bit more intimidating when you interview us mean as scary criminals. Great. Right back into the questions. Fine. Let me see the picture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. Who did you say this was? Ah, got it. So this man is a phantom thief. Well, that will be a diff... <sighs> That will be a bit difficult for me to have never met him. If I do something at the museum, right? What? You don't trust me? Now why won't you trust me? Because I'm a criminal too. And what proof do you have there? And if you don't want me to call you pet names, then you can tell me your actual name. I'm sure it is beautiful. <laughs> Then pet names it is. No, tell me. Why do you work as a curator from the museum? Then you start to interrogate me like this. Do you have a thing for criminals? <laughs> uh, you are my favorite. So much fun to get all flustered and angry. You just hate that I am right. You hate that you have a thing for criminals. And you hate that you have a thing for me. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, look at you. Just look at you. You have been looking me up and down during this entire process. You keep getting faster by what I say and what I do. <laughs> Just admit it, my love. Hey, how about after all this? We go out? After you all realize that I'm innocent of all these crimes, I can treat you to some delicious sh Or maybe you want more of the simple date. Like maybe a picnic. Or a walk in the park. Something like that. No, you are taking her away. Oh, that is annoying. We were actually in the middle of a very interesting conversation, you know. Fine, fine. God, you are all so dull. Can I at least say one last thing to my dear friend here? Oh, thank you so much. I want to say it to her privately though. Please. <laughs> Come here. I will confess to all of my crimes if you come and visit me while I am in prison every week or so. And if you kiss me right now. Mm. Wow. Girl, you can guess. All right, call your buddies back in, I will confess. I will tell right away about the phantom thief, I swear. Thank you. And I will see you soon, baby girl. <laughs>
<laughs> Looks like someone forgot to pack their umbrella tonight. Oh, what's with the look? <laughs> no need to be so defensive around me. Not tonight, at least. Relax, darling. I'm not here to take anything from the museum. I would have sent a calling card if I was. Now that you mention it, what am I doing here? Why? I thought you all guessed by now why I'm here. I came by tonight to meet a very important person. And what if you know it? I see just the person I'm looking for rushing by in the rain. I'm here to see you, darling. <laughs> Yes, you. Admittedly, I've been watching you. Just for the past couple of days, there's something important I wanted to talk to you about. But with all those police around the museum lately, well, I haven't been able to get the chance until now. I'm sure you understand, but the kinds of things I want to discuss are naturally things I can have other people listening in. No, it's not more flirting. It's about something else. Besides, <clears throat> you didn't seem too keen on the flirting when I was doing it. And I was only doing it so you'd be too flustered to catch me. Huh? What did I want to talk to you about? <laughs> First, how about I give you something? Here, it's an umbrella. By the way, you are running. It seems like you didn't have one with you. <laughs> Did you forget to check the weather today? Well, then isn't it a good thing I ran into you tonight? You're still on the defensive against me. I understand where I come from there, but I really won't try anything this time. Come on, let's walk and talk, shall we? To where? <laughs> I guess nowhere in particular. After all, it isn't like I can really go out anywhere dress in these clothes. It will be much too easy for someone to tip off the police, don't you think? <laughs> Afraid that you'd contact the police? No, not really. I get the feeling that I've gained at least a little bit of your trust after that. Generous offering I left at your desk. Especially since I was kind enough to remove the cars from the theater from here. You should be glad. It was a really powerful one. Yes, really. I know you don't have any reason to believe me. But if you happen to ever have the opportunity to take your artifacts to someone who specializes in courses, I would suggest you do so from now on. I don't know why, but this museum in particular has had several curse artifacts come in already. <laughs> yeah, there are people who specialize in that sort of thing, but you have to be careful in choosing who you go to. Many of them will have no impact on how to properly handle an artifact worthy of the museum. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I'm not the best at telling them with the care of they deserve myself. But can you really blame me for how reckless I can be? Actually, don't answer that. Judging by your face, I already know what you want to say. So you know you're being reckless then? <laughs> well, am I right? Oh, are you trying to lie to me right now? The head creator? New best friend to the local detective? Lying? Oh, what will become of such a thing? Will they perhaps turn to a life of a crime? <laughs> no, darling. I don't think I'm going to cut it out. You're just way too fun to these after all. Do you really think I'd give that up anytime soon? 
Honestly, I never get to have this much fun after a good heist. Then again, this is also the first time I've ever run into anyone who wasn't a security guard. You think I'm acting too casual? <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't expect someone like me to be anything more than a hardened criminal, huh? So, my darling curator, would you mind if I ask you a question? <laughs> hey, 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 no need to be so on edge with me. I'm not going to hurt you or anything. I don't want to hurt anyone. Look, doubt me all you want, but it's the truth. I know we got off on the wrong foot and all, but I think I'd like to start over. Well, I... I mean, not exactly start over, but uh... <clears throat> You know what? I know I'm not acting all mysterious or any of that stuff you might have been expecting of me. But you see, the thing is... <sighs> I'm gonna have to ask something of you that I've never had to ask anything before. And it's not exactly easy, you know? Huh? What did I want to ask you? Um, uh, well, I'd like to know if you happen to have any information regarding a certain artifact that's currently on display in a museum. I heard it's a pretty well-known painting that was recently discovered to be a lost work of a painter from, you know, from way back. Well, the name escapes me, but it's a landscape of a vineyard the tree in the foreground. It's all on canvas, I think. <laughs> oh, don't be worried. I need this information for a good reason. I assure you. How do I know you won't just tip off your new detective friend? I suppose I don't. And frankly, I wouldn't blame you if you did. <laughs> Besides, I like having an audience. My last job was an audience. Can't say I didn't enjoy the experience though, darling. Oh, you didn't enjoy it. <laughs> well, we can't have that now, can we? I'll have to do a better job at entertaining you next time. <clears throat> but on to more pressing matters. Do you happen to know anything about this painting? Yes, I know you aren't going to know about every artifact in existence. Can't you ever just be cooperative for once? Not when it involves a crime. <sighs> I told you already, I'm doing this for a greater good. Even if you don't necessarily believe me. It will help if you put at least a little bit of trust in me. I know that's asking a lot, but time is of the essence here. <sighs> what I mean is that if the curse on that painting doesn't get removed, I am certain that someone at that museum is going to die. I can't explain everything yet. The less you know about why I'm doing what I do, and who's behind the curses based on ancient and rare artifacts, the better. I'm not going to get you any more involved in this than I have to. No, I'm really not joking. When I told you that night, when I took the demon's eye tiara to remove the curse that I was placed on it, I was telling the truth. Like I said earlier, I suggest from now on, you take certain artifacts to a person who specializes in curses. Just so they can explain how risky being in contact with a curse can be. Me? <laughs> no, I'm not someone who specializes in them. At least not professionally. You could call it... A hobby of mine. And I use this hobby to protect people. People like you. 
<laughs> You're getting all flustered again, darling. <laughs> I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. I do enjoy seeing you like this, if I'm being honest. Hmm? You have a question for me? Go on then. What is it? Who am I? Under the mask and the outfit, you mean? <laughs> you know very well I can't ever tell you that. Not if I want to keep the cups off my back. No, not even when I finish my job. How much longer? I really should have been telling you, even as much I've already told you. And you want more information? <laughs> Your curiosity is very insatiable, isn't it? Just know that it probably won't be too much longer. Then I'll get out of your hair and the hair of museum employees all around the world. Hmm? You want to know why I started doing this in the first place? Well, I... <sighs> All I can say is that I have a very important client who hired me to do this all for them. And that... The stakes are pretty high. Then enough for you? Actually, don't answer that. It's going to have to be enough for now. No, uh, you don't know me, personally. I mean, there's billions of people in the world. So it will be super improbable coincidence for you and I to know each other, personally. <clears throat> anyway, the painting. I just figured I'd ask because it was pretty big news when it was discovered. Sunrise. What an odd title for a painting like that. Hmm. Even stranger that such a peaceful painting will have such a powerful curse attached on it. You know, anything else that might be useful? Nothing besides what I already know, huh? That's fine. Thanks for the info. And thanks for not immediately calling the cops on me. You don't act like it, but I think you trust me more than you're letting on. At least by a little bit. Anyway, it's about time I take my leave. The umbrella? Keep it. You might need it sometime. Well, until we meet again. I'll see you next time, darling. <laughs>